Friday's arrest of Jose Antonio Ibarra was not his first time in police custody in this country. Detained first in September 2022 after entering the country illegally, then paroled and released. A year later, the Venezuelan national was arrested again, charged with child endangerment, plus a motor vehicle license violation in New York City. ICE has confirmed Ibarra was released before a detainer could be issued. This goes back to why do local and county and state authorities need to be able to communicate with ICE? This is exactly why. Students and members of the Athens community gathered to remember 22-year-old Lakin Riley, a nursing student who an autopsy revealed died as a result of blunt force trauma to the head. Police asserting they have ample evidence to support their claim Ibarra was the perpetrator. He did not know her at all. Um, I think this was a crime of opportunity. Georgia Governor Brian Kemp blaming failed policies by the White House that have led to millions of migrants coming to the United States and then being allowed to stay, even in the instances when they commit crimes. We just have a nightmare in this country with mass migration and then have people that are here illegally breaking our laws and they're not telling anybody and reporting this to us. Now questions are mounting about whether cities and states with sanctuary laws, which prevent local authorities from being able to communicate with immigration and customs enforcement about undocumented immigrants in custody, are a threat to society. We have got to start mixing compassion with people for other countries to compassion and concern for our own people. President Biden has continued to press Congress to pass legislation to secure the border, but has hinted he may make changes on his own using executive action. In Washington, I'm Christine Frizzau.